we want to solve some more multi-step equations. In this video, we'll solve these first two equations. So looking at the steps above, notice how we can skip the first optional step because we don't have any fractions or decimals in our equation. Step two, we want to simplify each side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. So looking at our equation here, notice on the left side, that means we want to distribute the three. And looking at the right side, because we have this negative sign here outside the parentheses, we can think of this as negative one, and therefore to clear the parentheses, we'll distribute negative one. So on the left side, we have three times negative five x, that's negative fifteen x, and then three times seven is twenty-one, so plus twenty-one equals, on the right side we have negative one times negative twelve x, that's positive twelve x, and then we have negative one times negative one hundred twenty-nine, which is positive one hundred twenty-nine, so we have plus one hundred twenty-nine. Step three, we want to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. Notice how we have variable terms on both sides of the equation. We need the variable terms on one side. So looking at the right side, notice how we have this positive twelve x here. And therefore, to undo this, we can subtract twelve x on both sides. Notice on the right side, now we have twelve x minus twelve x, which is zero. So now we have negative fifteen x minus twelve x, that's negative twenty seven x plus twenty one equals one hundred twenty nine. We're still on step three. We want to isolate the variable term negative twenty seven x. So we want to undo this plus twenty one. So we'll perform the opposite operation, meaning we'll subtract twenty one on both sides of the equation. Notice that twenty one minus twenty one is zero, so now we have negative twenty seven x equals one hundred twenty nine minus twenty one is equal to one hundred eight. Step four, we're going to multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Negative twenty seven x means negative twenty seven times x. So to undo this multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by negative twenty seven. On the left side, negative twenty-seven divided by negative twenty-seven is equal to one. One times x is x. On the right side, one hundred eight divided by negative twenty-seven is equal to negative four. So our solution is x equals negative four. Notice step five says check the solution, which means if we substitute negative four for x in the equation, it should satisfy the equation, meaning the left side should equal the right side, again, if x equals negative four. Let's go ahead and check this on the graphing calculator. So on the left side we'd have three times the quantity negative five times negative four plus seven. Notice the left side is equal to eighty one when x equals negative four, and therefore the right side should also be eighty one when x equals negative four. So on the left side we have negative, then the quantity negative twelve times negative four minus one hundred twenty nine, close parenthesis, and enter, which verifies our solution is correct. Looking at our next equation, again we can skip step one because we don't have fractions or decimals. Step two, we want to simplify each side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms, which means here we want to distribute, which means here because we have plus two times this quantity, we distribute positive two. So we'd have three y, and then two times negative six y is equal to negative twelve y. So we could write plus negative twelve y, or just minus twelve y. And then we have two times negative eight, that's negative sixteen, which we'll write as minus sixteen, equals negative twenty-five. We're still on step two because notice how we do have like terms on the left side, we have two y terms. So we'll go ahead and combine these two terms here. Three y minus twelve y is equal to negative nine y. So we have negative nine y minus sixteen equals negative twenty five. Step three, we want to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. Notice how here we do only have one variable term on one side, so we want to isolate negative nine y. We don't want this minus sixteen here, so we'll undo minus sixteen by adding sixteen to both sides of the equation. Negative sixteen plus sixteen is zero, so we have negative nine y equals negative twenty-five plus sixteen is equal to negative nine. 
Step four, multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Well, negative nine y means negative nine times y, so to undo this multiplication and solve for y, we divide both sides by negative nine. Negative nine divided by negative nine simplifies to one. One times y is y. On the right side, we have negative nine divided by negative nine, which equals positive one. So our solution is y equals one. We won't take the time to check this solution, but you may want to just to verify the solution is correct. So going back to our first slide, we now know the solution to the first equation is x equals negative four, and the solution to the second equation is y equals one. We'll solve these next two equations in part two. Thank you for watching.